If you don't do this, you may not have a healthy vegetable garden this year. This step is very, very important because this is the first step that determines if you're going to have an abundance of harvest or not. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I do add to my soil and the first step that I do take to make sure that I have a healthy garden. So during winter, I planted some vegetables that were suitable for winter and those vegetables included um, carrots. These are some carrots that I planted. I also planted some kale. These are dinosaur kale because kale are of different types. We have curly kale, but this one is dinosaur kale. This kale is called resistance and along with it, I planted some Swiss chard. So the next vegetable that I'm going to show you is called bitter leaf. Bitter leaf is a West African kind of vegetable. And the, for this one, I do not plant it every year. I just planted it once in 2017 and during winter, the stem dries up like like this it looks dead but it's not but during spring like now we are in spring right now you can see new leaves new shoots coming out it sprouts again every spring so this cycle continues over and over again every year so the first thing that I do to my soil um, is to add some cow dung if you don't have cow dung you can use chicken dung any animal dung is fine add it to your garden soil and also i add some kitchen scraps that i use like banana peels carrot peels apple peels avocado peels um cucumber peels all of that you add that to your soil this one i do this on a almost on a regular basis you know all my kitchen scraps i add them to my garden because it enriches the soil and i'm going to i do this i mix the scraps with the soil turn it into the soil and this enriches my soil also for the cow dung i got it from a local animal farm you can get it from your local animal farm and I'm mixing it into my garden like I did with the kitchen scraps because I want to turn everything, mix everything together. And if you want to see a trip, how I went, travel like almost two hours to get this cow dung, make sure you check out the video in the comment section. I'm going to pin it in the comment section so that you can watch my trip. So the next thing for me to do is to share all these cow dungs into different beds, all the beds, to so make sure that I put it in all the beds and i'm just going to repeat the same method same process of tilling it you know into my soil and i usually do this like two weeks or three weeks to the time that i'm going to plant my seedling so that i give it that time you know that much time to uh, be incorporated into the soil before i now plant my seedling honey this is an old school method like this is a traditional way of gardening my grandmother actually taught me this because my grandmother never ever used artificial fertilizers on her garden she never used them okay what she did she read um chicken and some goats and what she did was get the cow dogs the animal dogs the goat dogs and pour it into the garden and till it like this so you know this is old school method okay <laughs> so i never ever saw her for once use an artificial fertilizer and her vegetables was always very healthy very healthy so i'm going to add the cow dogs in all the ridges so that all the ridges will be enriched i usually play some music while i'm walking so i don't get bored like you know i was out here getting it you know go down go down go down <laughs> anyway so this is what keeps me busy while i'm walking i use some headphone and i play some music or sometimes i listen to um preaching or some audiobook you know that way it keeps me busy keeps me motivated while i'm working guess how many hours i was out here working on this yard can you guess anyway guess and let me know in the description box below 
<laughs> and also let me know if you have prepped your soil and uh, what you're growing this year what are you growing this year for me i'm growing some okra some papers i already have some bitter leaves that are coming up you know every year like they usually do so um let me know in the comment section i'm going to grow a lot of herbs too like cilantro parsley mint and some strawberries for my kids too but hey listen i already started my seedlings inside the house like this some potatoes uh-huh i'm adding that to my garden this year i use this heat mat and grow lights every year to start my seedlings early so that i get enough harvest for the year check out the description box below i'm gonna leave it there for you hey guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up share this video and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below so that every time i post a new video you'll be the first person to be notified okay so i'm gonna see you guys in my next video okay